Hello everyone, this is Ryan Hanley from RyanHanley.com and you're about to learn how the Google Keyword Tool can help you dominate search traffic. Let's go. Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about a tool that is absolutely free which is going to help you dominate search traffic in your niche, whether it's internet marketing or you work for a small business like myself the Google Keyword Tool is going to help you find the keyword phrases, uh, both short keyword phrases and long tail keywords that are going to help drive the people you want to be on your website to your website. Like I said, the Google Keyword Tool is absolutely free. So all you need is to sign up for a Google AdWords account and you can get one as simply as going to www.google.com slash ad, A-D-W-O-R-D-S, Google AdWords. Go there, sign up, you have access to the tool. But let's, uh, let's get to the Google Keyword Tool. So this is what it looks like here. So in this word or phrase, this is where you're going to type in what you're trying to rank for. First, we'll use a uh, internet marketing uh, keyword phrase, social media. Pretty common. And this is what pops up. So this is what the results look like for keywords when you put a word or phrase in the search box above. What we're looking at here is the term social media. That's what we wanted to rank for. This is the competition rating. So it's a medium rating, meaning there are a lot of people that are trying to rank for this keyword, but it's not the most highly competitive keyword. Here's global searches, 2.7 million global searches per month and 1.2 million local searches per month. So you can tell a lot of people are searching the term social media. Local monthly searches, I think, is the US or the Eastern US. I'm, I'm located on the East Coast. When we look at this right here, so not only, and this is what this is what makes the Google keyword tool so powerful in my mind. So I want to rank for a phrase like social media, but understanding that it has a medium competition rating, even for a site like mine that's been around for a few years, it's going to be very hard to rank for that tool. I'm going to have to do a ton of work to move up the search engine rankings for the term social media. There's a lot of people out there trying to rank for that term. So what the Google Keyword Tool does is give you ideas on additional long tail phrases that you can use, long tail phrases, long tail keywords, three words or more, additional long tail keywords or long tail fra phrases that you can rank your site for that are going to help you move up that are related to your keyword. So what I do is I come in here and I'll look through this list and it's they're all kind of mixed up. So I will sort by the competition rating. So now I'm looking at terms that have a relatively low competition rating, but I can look over here and find out how many searches there are. So here's a term like social media buttons. That's something that I could write a lot about. Talk about different buttons um, that are available, where you find them, how different buttons work, the look of buttons. You can come up with five to ten really good blog posts which all maximize the keyword term social media buttons which help drive people to your website for that term if you were so inclined and you're looking at nine thousand monthly searches just for that term so if you can build a series of posts around that term and generate a lot of traffic just from social media buttons, which as you can see from this competition rating, not a lot of people are going after that term. It's an easy term to rank for. Free social media icons, that's another one. Uh, social media breakfast, that's a club, a social media club that meets in the mornings. There's actually one here in my local area, but you could either start one in your local area or go to whatever social media breakfast is in your look at, write posts about it, write recaps, reviews, and you're looking at, you know, 1300 global, 880. You know, one thing to remember when you're trying to get search traffic is you don't have to try to accumulate all your monthly traffic in one post. If you can get 
500, 500 monthly hits from one post, 400 from another, 600 from another, all these start to add up. So don't, don't feel like you have to go for a, a term like social media that has a million searches because you're like, oh, if I can peel off a thousand of those, I would love to have a thousand hits on my blog on just one post. It's gonna be, it's still gonna be very hard to do. Come down here, find competitive, find terms with a low competitive rating, and this gives you a bunch of really good ideas, content ideas. Social media explained, social media ninja, social media badges, social media week, social media addiction. I mean, I could write about social media addiction. If you're listening to this YouTube video, you probably have one. So here is just a great way to come up with ideas for your blog that are around a keyword phrase that you may struggle to rank for. Here are additional terms that you can use that are gonna help you move up search engine rankings and get that traffic to your website. And this doesn't just work for internet marketing terms. Uh, as a straight job, I am an insurance agent. So let's try a very popular term in the insurance world, collision coverage. And you can see that collision coverage is also a medium competitive term. You get about 6,000 monthly searches. But if I want to rank for collision coverage or I want to draw in prospective clients to my insurance agency that are interested in collision coverage, but I don't want to have to compete for that phrase collision coverage, I can come here to the Google Keyword Tool and find other phrases that will help me drive those same clients in using different phrases. So car accident with no damage, there's 500 other than collision coverage. That's actually comprehensive, but, but this is a, 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 another way to phrase it, 1300. Um, let's see, collision damage deductible. Um, comprehensive damage, uh, insurance damages. Here's all comp uh, keyword phrases that are have a low competition rating that you can easily rank for with a relatively optimized post that will draw significant cars collision, low competition rating, 18,000 monthly searches. That's something that if you're an insurance agent, you should be writing a post around. So, you know, when you think, you know, that you've written everything you can about a topic, you know, you, you, you wrote your uh, when should you drop collision coverage post and now you don't know what else to write about, Type that keyword phrase in collision coverage and come here to the Google Keyword Tool and find other ways that you can spin that same article to keep ranking for those terms and bringing different people in who may not necessarily search for collision coverage but are still interested in that same information on your website. So the Keyword Tool, we're at about almost eight minutes here, so I'm going to wrap this up. The Google key Keyword Tool, absolutely free. All you need is a Google AdWords account, which is also free. Use this tool to help you find new ways to phrase content, find new ways uh, to spin content to bring the same types of clients into your website. That's the Google Keyword Tool. My name is Ryan Hanley. You can find out more great information at ryanhanley.com, and I would love for you to check out my podcast on iTunes, the Content Warfare Podcast. Check it out. Thank you. Have a great day.